What's going on, people? It's your boy, Crispy T. Man, um, obviously this is a different one. It's more about the music side of things, and um, it's just about China Mac, you know, and... Now, I did speak to him. I get a chance to lay one of my comments on his YouTube live that he did. Um, and this was concerning him quitting the music game and the industry as a whole and wanting to um, refigure out things. So, you know, I've, um, I'm not just sending this out at length as to um, attack the guy or seem like I'm taking up a position. Because, listen, I work in the music industry. I've managed artists. I felt like that. I felt like quitting. I felt like um, this is just something that's just never going to work out. And um, not only that, um, it's not even that I ever stopped believing in the dream and all that. I just thought that maybe it's going to take money. It's going to take money and I need to get a job and you know, those, such things. You know, s certain things like that happened because I worked mostly on the back end of music where it's like the um where it's like the management thing and here's the thing though you can always just have faith and work with certain people but if they don't keep the faith and walk with you and decide to be distracted by the ways of the world and it, it can happen and like everything else in life you know it's just like um where i've likened if you check my article regarding chameleon there and um, and how tough this this journey has been for me, where it's like eight years, you know, a decade. And I mean, I've been asked a lot by people, when are you going to make it? When are you going to do this? When is this going to happen? I've lost um, so-called girlfriends, well, supposedly over this whole thing. I've lost money over this whole thing. I've been sued by people who are in the same um, where well, I started out doing music with and when they suddenly started seeing that I was making some strides and all sorts of things, they just went out to try and destroy me um, and started suing me all because of the fact that they just um, had this jealous spirit in them uh, where whereas they had more than me, right? Where they had more than me, but they were not willing to put in the work at me. So it was just to try to... Um, make it seem like it was something that it wasn't. So I was even sued by one particular person. Um, I'm not going to name them here so I can give them any sort of attention to towards their career or what's left of their music career because um, last time I checked, they, they, don't, they don't have one or anything of that matter to even um, honor them with, a, with any specific mention, you know. So... Whatever, I'm just going to let the dead bury the dead on that one. So that's just what it is. So it's like when you're called in, into music and it's like anything where you work, when you walk with God and you work with faith, it's you don't focus on what's going around you. Walk with Work by faith, not by sight, you know? So the long passage, and if you want to get to the promise, that's, how, that's just how it works. So I'm just hoping... As far as China Mac is concerned, right, and it's just one of those things that I'm, I'm going to um, go into is that whatever's going on in his personal life, um, because I heard a whole lot of things, and I'm just going to leave the um, the links to that and to that interview, and um, not to the interview, but he's live. And his video, um, well, he took down the live, but his video, his initial video about quitting after being uh, ten hours at the studio. And I'm just hoping it's just a moment where he's just reflecting and he's just trying to get things in. I'm just hoping that's that. And I'm praying for him more than anything because he is so talented and I just love him. He's just one of my favorites. So I just hope the brother um, just gets back on track and um, uses the situation. He does raise some very valid grounds. But um, here's the thing, though, and, um, and I just want you guys to just pay attention to this. It's like social media doesn't matter. How many followers you have and all of that stuff um, doesn't mean just because people are following you doesn't mean that they actually have a real interest in you. OK, they follow you because you're popular and you are popping. That's all they care about for the most part. So when you enter that space, just understand that it's an artificial space. Also, when you're trying to be seen with so-called celebrities and all this stuff and and all these people, just remember, these people are not your friends. 
they're not your friends. So if you're doing songs with big names and people like that, they, they, you know, they're getting paid. They get, they know exactly what to do to leverage you because they know you're going to have to carry that energy over um, and use that feature to do your own thing. So they're not going to help you promo it. They're not, they, they may, yeah, if you can, you can contractually obligate them, but if it's not coming out of their, you know, if it's just a business transaction and it's not coming out of a spirit of giving and saying, oh, this guy is hard or everyone's just putting him on, whatever, you know, it's like, oh, they've got this reputation um, to uphold and um, they also have this thing of, um, um, no, 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 um, uh, no one did me any favors, so I'm not going to do you any favors. And also the fact they just forget that, you know, it's at one point in time, they were just fans like everybody else. So when I came across China Mac, I know exactly where I, it was coming from a good place. Even though I work in the music industry, he doesn't know me for anything. And um, yes, I'm on the managerial side and, and all of that stuff. But I put him on to so many of my friends. I'm like this guy goes in and a lot of them are like, yeah, yeah, we, we liking his music. You know, we peep, we stream his stuff of Deezer and all that stuff. So these are fans, people that you wouldn't know. It's coming from referrals because the fact is that there is that goodwill that you pass on because when you're doing the real thing, the real fans will find you. And on top of that, your money may not always be direct, but you know, the fact that I'm, I'm streaming and I was constantly streaming his music and, um, my friends are now streaming his stuff because of my referral and they always just think of me, oh, here's your dude China Mac over here. Um, you should not lose perspective. You must just always remember what he came here for. And yes, he's there to entertain. Yes, um, we understand that the music business can get expensive. Yes, we do. But sometimes you need to downscale and maybe you're just overpaying on your side. Now, this is where I just I don't want him to lose um, faith or lose perspective of, of the fans have nothing to do with the deals that you make. You know, if it was really about, why not have an honest conversation with your friend, your fans? Just to say, this is where I'm standing. Guys, I need help. Um, this is not paying off for me. Can you guys chip in? Do something. There's a cash app. There's so many ways that you can. Your fans will always reach out and help you. Yes, yes. Yeah, they didn't care, you know, were you like, yes, the perspective is that, yes, you dropped a single, it's just another single, they'll be like, ah, maybe we'll check it later, whatever, when we have time, and all that, but when they heard that you're in distress, of course they're going to react, because they care, you know, for the most part, I don't think everybody just here for the drama, or just say, I'm happy that you're quitting, and if you're focusing on those that are happy that you're quitting, they're not your fans, those are the people you should be addressing to, not your fans, China, not your friends, my brother, that is not, sorry, your fans, that is just not cool, man, so, yeah, you know, it's with a heavy heart, and like, in business, like, um, just because people were here for the one video and whatever they liked, you should be just as grateful for the, like, it, it, just like for any retailer, and I'm just, um, because um, you make use of online distributors, which are retail outlets, right, for your music, and you did moan about the platforms and the YouTubes, the Spotify's, etc., and their pay rate and their algorithms and all of that stuff. Just bear in mind that you should also be just as grateful for the customer that leaves the store as you are for the one that comes in and purchases, okay? So, because... Um, like, um, if you watch The Simpsons and Abu and other, thank you, come again, there's a reason why you say thank you, please come again. You know, you don't want to burn bridges unnecessarily. So I know it, it, there's a lot of bitterness. I'm not too sure what is going on in your personal life. I have my opinion on it, but I'm not going to give it here because that's not my business. Um, I just started seeing certain changes, you know, in um, Max's life and he's not touching, he briefly touched on some personal elements. I believe there's some personal elements to it, um, but um, yo man, you know, the fans were not part of that, you know, so let's just check our bitterness at the door before we make decisions. And I understand if you don't like your rate and um, you feel like your music is making the the corporates more than what you are making. Th that's a valid point. That's a very valid point. Again, that has nothing to do with the fans. Even if the fans had given you a rate of 1 million views or whatever it is, you know, it doesn't mean that you would have gotten the $1 million that you may have needed to cover your production. So 
let's be economical and let's just be keep things in perspective and let's separate issues, my brother. That is all I'm saying. You know, I'm not coming at you. This is just out of love. I'm actually praying for you and I pray that you come back and find you who you are, because music is your thing. Music is your calling. It's what got you out of jail, if I remember correctly. Um, the fact that you really had something to look forward to or you had bars to do, come on now. You know what I'm saying? We serve a good God, man. God won't bring you this far just to leave you here, brother. Please get back on track. Praying for you. Much love for you. I know you kind of said, fuck out of here to some other dude. Sorry, ugh, I shouldn't be swearing, but guys, please forgive me. I, um... Oh, that was just out of pocket, but whatever. Um, that's what you kind of, I'm just saying what he said verbatim, but if OH out of here, you know, whatever. And um, I'm so sorry about that if I offended anybody, but that's what exactly what it was. And um, please, man, you know, let's just keep it at, let's just keep it tempered, you know, keep it placid. And just remember, love always comes through, my brother. This is where you should just seek guidance and just seek the Lord at this point. Much love. Praying for you, my brother. Get back on track. Speak soon. Your boy signed out. Crispy T. One.